everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of the St. Arnold Video News. It's the third in our series about restaurants and places that uh, cook with St. Arnold beer and then in turn have some of the uh, those items on their menu at their restaurants. You've seen an episode where we had the, the beer mustard, St. Arnold mustard from the Burger Guys, so we did that. And then also we did the root beer baked beans that they make over at Ziggy's. So you've seen that too. Uh, too. Today, we're kind of classing it up a little bit. We're in downtown Houston, just off Market Square, and we're visiting a place called Hearsay. It's a really nice restaurant, like I said, right off Market Square. Not hard to find. They've got a great bar, great full menu. And uh, they've been a big supporter of ours since day number one. They've had, uh, since day one, they've had an item on their menu called St. Arnold Beer Battered Asparagus. So it's beer and it's something fried, so you really can't go wrong there. So we're going to go inside and uh, Chef Nick from the restaurant, who's been there since the very beginning as well, he's going to show us how he prepares the beer battered asparagus. Enjoy everybody. All right, here we are inside the kitchen at Hearsay with Chef Nick. Chef, thanks for joining us. Thank you for coming. Um, all right, uh, the asparagus has been on the menu here at Hearsay since day one, the St. Arnold asparagus. Just uh, show me, I guess, really quick what goes into uh, making it. Yeah, real guys. quick, uh, we've already uh, broken some eggs up. Uh, we're gonna throw some flour in there, about a cup and a half. Then we have our spice blend. It's chili powder, paprika, some garlic powder. We got some salt and pepper. And then, of course, uh, St. Arnold's beer. Uh, lawnmower I, today. Lawnmower today. But it can be anything, right? We do, we'll throw some stout in there, you know, whenever. Throw that in there. That's a whole pint of whole beery pint. goodness, so you know it, we'll, we'll get the flavor in there for sure. Definitely. Mix it up real good. Gotta make sure you get it nice and thick so it adheres to the asparagus. And uh, while you're doing that, yeah. um, has this been one of the most popular appetizers since you guys opened? It has. People love it because um, you know the beer gives it a nice flavor, and uh, when you fry it, it doesn't get too soft. The, the asparagus stays really nice and crunchy still, and uh, yeah, people love it. And we serve it with a, um, a horseradish chipotle uh, sauce. That really gives it a nice little heat. All right, so let's do a little uh, TV magic, and we'll <laughs> take out the one that we already have ready. Wow. All right. I guess I could insert one of those, um, like, xylophone tones in there, like right. a magical tone. All right. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. So, you, you know, see, you get it nice and, uh, nice and thick. Throw the asparagus in there. You see how it, it's nice and thick, but it's not too clumpy. You could still get a good consistency. And let's go over here uh, to the fryer. All right, I'll just follow you. All right. You go for it. If the oil's ready. Just drop it in there. Let that bad boy fry out for a couple minutes. So yeah, how long nice does it brown. take? About uh, about three or four minutes. All right, cool. And then we will, another magic of TV, yes. we'll just beam right now to the point where it's all done. Awesome. All right, and there we are, the finished product. Uh, and then you finish it with a little cheese, too. A little too. Parmesan cheese. Nice. Very good. And it goes great with a pint of St. Arnold. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Do you all happen to serve the beer as well? Yeah. <laughs> All right, come see you guys for lunch. Too, Excellent. Really. Come on down. Uh, we got a great new lunch menu coming out. Um, and, you know, come check out the building. All right. And have some beer. Thanks, Nick. Cheers. Thanks for the support. Yeah.